Eskodi. Eh. The family of Balgeli Sawa and Shandi Mwamadi has received a visitor. Isabire Joseph is not a stranger to this family of one child in Iganga, Eastern Uganda. Eh. Joseph has been paying a visit since the birth of their daughter a month ago. The baby was born at six months, three months before the full term nine months. I went there to Nakavre. They take me to an better's room. I've been there for five days. After five days, in you know, better, they give me a kangaroo room, safe room, to be there with my kid. Uh, then after I finish on that kangaroo room on five days, I came here. Did I came back. You, uh, what weight the baby was? How much did the baby weigh? I think it was 1.1. Joseph has to be here every other week to monitor the baby's weight and advise accordingly. He's one of the community health workers that use a special card to measure the length of the baby's feet in order to detect the weight of the baby to show whether a newborn is premature. That means this one is under underweight. The card which measures 7.6 centimeters was invented by Dr. Elizabeth Nabiwemba of the Makere University School of Health Sciences as a way to detect the number of babies born prematurely. Most babies whose foot is below 7.5 centimeters, 7.6 centimeters, most of them are low birth weight. Because when you take their weight, they are either 2.4, 2.2, 2.1, or 2 kilograms. 210,000 children are born premature in Uganda, out of 1.5 million babies born each year. In Kenya, 188,000 babies are born preterm, out of 1.5 million births per year. In Uganda, 3 out of 10 women give birth at home. 3 out of 10 babies also die at birth. The numbers are high for women in rural areas like Iganga. 27% of babies in Uganda also die at birth. The card that is being tried has proven to be successful in reducing the number of preterm deaths. Mm, I think for the last two years, we have been able to save some babies. For example, this one. This baby was identified from home. So we linked up with the community health worker. I came and reviewed the baby. The baby had the hypoglycemia. There was infection because of the condition around home. So we referred the baby to the hospital. The baby was admitted for a period of one week. And during that time, the health workers were counseling the mother on the care, on feeding, and hygiene. So during the, uh, over this period of two years, we have saved so many babies who could have died if the food length card was not used to identify whether they are low birth weight. Uh, previously, the baby was very small, but now has gained. Hamid is another beneficiary of the card. Her grandson was born prematurely at only seven months. After a team of community health workers visited the homestead and used the car to get the baby's weight, the baby was referred to hospital where they were taught how to care for a preterm baby. So the condition of the baby kept improving, like previously the baby could not suck the breast on, her, on his own because we were only doing, we were expressing the breast milk and giving, but later we, the baby began to suck on his own. He was first kept in the hospital. They said that you, you put some, how I say, light eh, near him. Eh? You put him in big clothes, don't open her, put him in a house, you close it. Yes. Then even when they came back this way, that's what they did. When they were in the hospital, what they told them, put a light, stove there, water, don't open. Keep him clothes. Keep him in clothes. Don't don't put him outside because he's still young. In most cases, the health workers have recommended the kangaroo mother care, which is skin-to-skin -skin attachment of the baby to a parent's chest, as one of the ways to care for a preterm baby from home. Such interventions, however, have often faced cultural challenges in the past. In the past, it would be uh, regarded as a thing, not actually a baby. 
So until the baby was seven days or more, was then the baby was given a name. Like in the case of Amina Nabiri, a second wife in a polygamous family of three wives, the mother of eight lost one of her twins who were born prematurely. So the words that were spoken were actually insults to me, like from my co-wife, they were saying, you think she was even carrying a baby, she was merely carrying garbage. Actually, the baby she has given birth to is a cat. Preterm births cause up to 80% of infant deaths in the world. The foot length measuring card is a success story here in Iganga, Eastern Uganda. Experts believe that this card can be used to save more lives of preterm babies in the whole of Africa. Agnes Penda, KTN News, Uganda.